So here we are again. After we have implemented the error messaging handler, right now it's the time to make all the services, get rid of all the operation response and move them back to the controller. So let's get started. So get started here and here. So by just removing them. So every service will just retrieve just like this. And then we have to make that here as well. So for this function, instead of returning success, we will just return just like that. And for this one, the same. So here, in this case, what we have to do is throw new not found exception. We'll type user profile not found. So here the same. And it's also here the same. So you can see how many lines of code we get rid of. And no need to use try catch for those images anymore because they are already if while the saving, if you click control F12, while the saving we are checking the extension here. So if the extension is not valid, so it's already going to throw this exception, it's also be handled as a bad request exception. So do it like this. If image is required, if image URL is null, then it's not going to be null actually, because if anything will go wrong, then Oh yeah, we're already checking here if it's null, then returning from this one, so... Okay, let's keep it. And let's throw new validation exception. Let's say image is required. And at the end, we just retrieve that. So we have a much cleaner business services right now. As you can see, we can go to this base service and get rid of those two functions we have, just like that. I'm gonna keep it for now. Let's move this one to another file. And let's create a specific folder for it. So, add user profiles, and then I'll take this one, and this one for it, just like this. So this is great, now let's go to the uh, not the client to the controller sorry and open up this controller so this one will, will not happen anymore because always the flow will be right because if anything goes wrong then this exception will thrown over here and it will be retrieved back to the client as an operation error response from the middleware so if everything goes right then it will be just like this but instead of retrieving this one directly here what we do is we say retrieve new operation response of type user profile detail and here we pass user profile retrieve it successfully and we pass this one here so because this response is just being used to help in the client add some wrappers so we do it on the level of the controller but as a business service we, this is what we need actually this object so let's do the same I'll copy this let's get rid of this one and get rid of this one and let's make it like that okay user profile created and same here so profile picture updated successfully and retrieve the result we have so you can see we have less code in the services less code over here and all the errors are retrieved efficiently now so let's give it a try 
by trying to retrieve the current user profile. We get some errors. Let's see what we have. And go custom identity. Okay, there is no need to use record because this one is already retrieving user profile directly. It's not retrieving uh, operation response of that user profile. So good. Let me log in. go okay we forgot this exception so let's let's go ahead refresh and let's just comment that and go so we get this one I will put it let me duplicate this and over here I'll paste what we have API slash user profiles send this one and here we go so you can see that we have the same response the same wrapper all the stuff is just the same but the business service just retrieve this one it's not retrieving though all this object straightforward because this object is just from the controller as a wrapper to send some additional information in the backend but maybe you can call the service from a cmd or whatever it is so just retrieve the data you want so i hope you get the point out of this and uh, we are going to see the benefits much more when you are moving to the client but as you can see at least right, right now we have less code and things are a little bit more centralized so thank you so much for watching and let's go in the next video and uh, start implementing the events uh, business service and add some more action to the project. Thank you so much and see you.